Welcome back friends. It is the month of May and in Indiana that means it is race month. So to commemorate race month, we decided to make our very own race cars. So today we're going to show you how to make a balloon race car. So we blow it up and we let it roll. And that my friends is how you crash work, crash a race car off a workbench. So let's talk about making your race car. We're going to take our kit here. We're going to pull the pieces out. We've got a straw. You'll see what that's for in a minute. We have got two body side panels. We've got a card. We've got the back of the race car with a hole in it. This one's a little offset, but that'll be okay. We have a lot of, or this one actually has an extra axle in it. We've got two long, quarter inch dowels. These are the axles. Of course, we've got a balloon. We have the front bumper, which is a half inch dowel, two inches long. And it wouldn't be a race car without four wheels. And there's also a couple nails in here. Now, you don't necessarily need the nails, but I'm going to show you how to do this both ways. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our two side pieces, set the wheels out of the way, we're going to take our back piece and we need our bumper. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the end of the bumper here, just a tiny little bit. And that goes right up here. Should match the contour of the nose of the car. And then with this back piece, this hole's where the balloon goes through. So we want this towards the top. So I'm going to put just a little bit of glue on the edge put that on here and it's going to squish out and then I'm going to put a little more glue on this edge that's now facing up and there and I'm going to line this all up now we've talked about this before I have a whole lot of clamps but you don't necessarily need clamps for something like this it's going to be plenty strong enough without clamps. So we can do a couple things here. I've got my trusty masking tape and I've shown you guys this before. We can take the masking tape and we can tape that around the edge there and hold those two pieces together. I'm going to be careful here and I'm going to flip it over so I can get the other side. And we can do the same thing here. And pull that over. And now for the front, you should also have two little brass nails. And you don't have to do it this way. You could let this glue sit. You could take a piece of tape and you could wrap it all the way around and hold that nice and tight. Let it sit for an hour and you'll be good to go because um, we got to let the back dry anyways. But if you want to, you can try using these nails. We did not pre-drill the holes this time and that was on purpose so that you could make your own decision. So I'm just holding these nails with some needle nose pliers and I've got my hammer. And I'm going to try and do this without breaking it apart. And I'm just going to tap real lightly to get that started. They're brass nails, so if you hit them hard and they're not quite started, they will bend very easily. So I got that one in. And the reason I'm using the needle nose pliers is because my fingers are too big to hold these nails to get it started. Get those out of the way. We'll use those again in a minute. This one's a little crooked. And see, I even bent it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pliers here. I could use the back of the hammer. I'm just going to bend this back into shape. These work a lot better if you drill a small hole first. Okay. Enough of that making noise. So now I've got my car put together. I'm going to leave the tape on here for now. I can peel that off later. I am going to get it out of the way of the axle holes though. So what you'll notice is you've got these two holes on each side and that's where if you take these axles, you'll notice they fit through these holes and they're not going to fit tight because we need those axles to spin. So what we're going to do, I'm not going to put that in there yet. I'm going to take my wheels and you'll notice there's two sides to these wheels. There's a side that has a contour in there and there's a side that's flat. You can put either side out. It really doesn't matter. It's totally up to you. All I'm going to do is I'm going to put just a little bit of glue 
in this hole. I don't need much because it's going to squish out the other side if I put a ton in there. And I'm going to take my dowel and I'm going to put it right in here. And they might be a tight fit, so I'm going to take my mallet. I could use my hammer too. And I'm going to tap that all the way through so that the dowel is flush with the front of that wheel. I'm going to do that on another one. that on there then I've got one wheel on there and I did that off of there so I didn't hit this and break it up now I'm gonna slide that one through there and I'm gonna slide that one through the back Then I'm gonna flip my car over and I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on this wheel and this is where we're gonna have to be real careful because we don't want to smash the car we also don't want to put these wheels on so tight that they don't spin and the other thing we want to be careful of is we don't want we don't want that glue to come out the back side of the wheel and get into where the axle goes through because then the axle won't spin. And it might be doesn't freewheel real great um, and the one I launched earlier spins very nicely now but it didn't when I first put it together so once you push it around a little bit, it'll loosen up a little bit. The other thing you can do, if you want to, um, if you want to get super competitive with these, is you can take some sandpaper to these dowels before you put them together and smooth them out a little more. And then they'll go a little more freely in there. But you can see this one doesn't roll quite as well as the other one does, but it will eventually. Um, but if I wanted to, before I put those wheels on, you can stick your dowels in there and make sure they spin nice and freely. Um, it's also important, I didn't show it before, but it's important that when you put this together that you do get those lined up straight so the axles are going through straight and not at an angle. If they're going through at an angle, they're going to bind up some more. But if you just took a little bit of sandpaper before you put these axles in here, you could even stick the axles in here and mark them with a pencil, and you just sand that area where it's running, running through, the, uh, through the body they'll spin a lot better. So next I'm gonna take my balloon and I'm gonna take the end of the balloon, the part you blow in, and I'm just kind of folding it over and scrunching it up because I need to fit it through this hole. And I'm gonna push it through this hole. And now I could go ahead and blow this balloon up and try to launch the car. But the problem is, is with it going through that hole, it's very restricted. That's where the straw comes in. So now you don't need a very long piece and I'm just gonna take a pocket knife here. You could use scissors, um, you can use a lot of things, and I'm just gonna cut off, I don't know, about an inch and a half. And that way if I mess up, I've still got plenty left. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull this balloon out a little more and I'm gonna stick this in the end of the balloon. And then, this is the hard part because this hole is actually a little smaller than the straw, unfortunately. You gotta squish it in there. We did that so it will hold, but not quite how I wanted it to be. Our test straws were a little bigger. I'm gonna take, now I've squished this straw all up. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a extra dowel. You could use a screwdriver for this. You could use anything. I'm just opening that, that hole back up because we don't want it pinched. And if these straws, if you don't like these straws, you can use other straws. The test one I shot off earlier was actually a cut off piece of a silicone straw that I found. So now, the difference you get with this different size straw is how fast this air comes out. So a longer, slower, like that, it may go farther, but it's gonna go slower. So I would encourage you to experiment with the, width, with the thickness of the straw. And that one didn't move at all because my axles are a little tight and my straw is a little scrunched up.
So, experiment with it, see what works for you. Um, you can always get, oh, that worked really well, getting that in there with the dowel. Um, that's something you can do before you put it all together. If you haven't already followed the video, you can use your, one of your axles to help push it through there. And now I can open that up really well. And this one's not gonna roll on this bench very well because this bench has a lot of holes um, and a lot of grooves. But you saw how the other one went. This will go quite well. Once these axles are smoothed out a little bit, you can even put a little bit of graphite or something in there and it will be good to go. So I would encourage you to take a little bit of sandpaper to these axles before you put them together. You can even roll the sandpaper up and put it in through the body. Um, get these wheels spinning nice and freely. More like, more like these do. So this is where it comes to your engineering and your creativity to uh, tweak this a little bit to make it work really well. So please do and send us some videos of your cars racing down the hallway. Look forward to seeing them and uh, have a wonderful month of May.